Jaman High School, the pioneer of IIT Foundation in Thai cities. So, the first quantum number, principal quantum number. You know this already because in the whole ceramic model we have given seen this symbol again. <coughs> Principal quantum number, this was proposed by Niels Bohr. This is indicated by the letter N. N is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, R, K, L, M, N respectively.
एजिमुटल क्वांटम नंबर इंडिकेटेड बाय यल एजिमुटल क्वांटम पे जा सकते हैं आर विटाल क्वांटम नंबर आर एंगुलर मोमेंटम क्वांटम एंगुलर मोमेंटम क्वांटम दिस एजिमुटल क्वांटम नंबर was proposed by Sommerfeld. It is indicated by the letter L. L takes the values 0 to N minus 1. And what is the purpose of this adjunctal quantum number? It gives the sub orbits present in the orbits. It gives the sub orbits present in the orbits. As I already told you, we will see one orbit, but distinctly if you see, there will be no single orbit, it will have so many splits and there will be multiple uh, orbits and we call them as, Sommerfeld called them as sub orbits and he has given some mathematical calculation for the sub orbits. Now let us see, when n is 1, so L becomes N minus 1, that means 1 minus 1, it is 0. So 0 indicates a subshell called, a suborbit called S suborbit, that is S subshell. And this S indicates sharp subshell. N is 2. Now L is 2 minus 1. This is 0 and 1. 0 indicates S subshell and 1 indicates P subshell. P means principal subshell. So second orbit will have two suborbits. One is S suborbit, another is P suborbit. And when N is 3, L is 3 minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. It will have 3 suborbits. You know, 0 is S subshell, 1 is P subshell, 2 is D subshell. And this D subshell is called diffuse subshell. D subshell is called diffuse subshell. And when N is 4, L is 4 minus 1. So this is 0, 1, 2 and 3. 0, 1, 2 and 3. 0 stands for S, 1 stands for P, 2 stands for D and 3 stands for F where F is called F subshell. F is called the fundamental subshell. Fundamental subshell. So dear friends, try to understand an orbit will have sub orbits within that you uh, there will be divisions around the nucleus so those sub orbits are indicated like this first orbit will have only one sub orbit second orbit will have two sub orbits or sub shells s and p sub shells third orbit will have s p and d sub shells fourth orbit will have s p d and f sub shells we call s sub shell as sharp sub shell p as principal sub shell D as diffuse subshell and F as fundamental subshell. We can have some questions here. Why first orbit will not have F subshell? Why first orbit will not have F subshell? Because I know the quantum number says when L is 1, L is N minus 1. That means 1 minus 1 is 0. So only one subshell is indicated. In order to get F subshell, the L value should indicate 3. When L value is 3, then only F subshell. So when L value 3 is not possible for first subshell, not only for not only for that, it is not possible for second subshell and third subshell. It starts only from the fourth orbit. First orbit is not possible. Second orbit, F subshell is not possible. Third orbit, F subshell is not possible. And for fourth orbit only, the F subshell starts. In the same way, P subshell is not possible in the first orbit. D subshell is not possible in the second orbit. 
So, common subshell in all the orbits is S subshell. First orbit, it has all the orbits, S subshell is there. P subshell will be only from second orbit, D subshell is from third orbit, F subshell is from fourth orbit. So, this is orbits and sub orbits. So, because of quantum mechanics, we have got clarity now because of azimuthal quantum. What, what is that clarity is? There will be orbits and still in the orbits there will be suborbits around that orbit and the suborbits values goes like this and this azimuthal quantum number not only gives the suborbits he predicts that there will be orbitals in the suborbits orbital is orbital the definition goes in this way Orbital is defined as the maximum probability of finding an electron around the nucleus in the atom. The maximum probability, probability means chance. So maximum chance to find the electron around the nucleus. So you want to see the electron, the electron where, where, where you want to see, where you get chance to see the electron and that place you call it as electron cloud or you can call it as orbital. Once again, the maximum probability of finding an electron around the nucleus in the atom is called orbital and those orbitals will have shapes. S subshell will have S orbitals, P subshells have P orbitals, D subshells have D orbitals and F subshells have F orbitals. A subshell orbital, a subshell shape is spherical. P subshell orbitals is dumbbell, and D subshell orbitals are double dumbbell in shape. And F subshells are very complicated. Scientists are trying to give the shapes for them. You can see, and in a three-dimensional way, this is the shape of the F S subshell X Y Z. And if you see the P subshell, P orbitals will be like this. Dumbbell shape and D subshell you will have two dumbbells like this. We will go in the next quantum number in detail. So, second friends, Sommerfeld model will give you the subshells present in the orbits as S subshell, P subshell, D subshell, F subshell, and so on. Not only the subshells but also the orbitals where the electrons are present in the subshells. A subshell will have S orbitals, P subshell will have P orbitals, D subshells will have D orbitals, and F subshells will have F orbitals, and also their shapes as sharp, spherical subshell, spherical orbital, dumbbell shaped orbitals, double dumbbell shaped orbitals, and so on. So, this is the clarity what we have got from azimuthal quantum number. And next is magnetic quantum number. So, magnetic quantum number. This quantum number was proposed by scientist Lande. And the main use of this quantum number is to explain Zeeman effect. In detail, this will come in your intermediate and higher studies. And the magnetic quantum number is indicated by the letter M. M takes the values as minus L, 0, plus L, R, 2 into L plus 1. 2 into L plus 1. Indirectly, it gives the magnetic quantum number will give us how many orientations are there for every orbital or subshell present in the atom. Let us see now. You know, L is in 0. 0 means it is S subshell. So, there will be S orbital and substitute the 0 in this. So, 2 into 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1. So, there will be one orientation for S orbital. One orientation. 
This quantum number is indicated by the letter S. It takes the values as plus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. And the purpose of uh, this quantum number is it will explain about the spinning of electrons. As you know, planets while they are revolving around the sun, they are rotating around their own axis. For example, if this is the sun, this is the planet, the planet revolves like this. While it is revolving like this, it rotates around its own axis. Because of the rotation only, we have days and nights, as you know. And in the similar way, the electrons, while they are revolving around the nucleus, they also rotate around their own axis. That rotation you call it as spinning. That rotation is called spinning. So the spinning is of two types. One is clockwise spinning. See, this is rotation and this is spinning. Another is anti-clockwise spinning. Rotation direction is same, but spinning is different. So, clockwise rotation and anti-clockwise rotation. For clockwise rotation, for clockwise rotation, the symbol is arrow upwards and value is plus 1 by 2. And for anti-clockwise rotation, the symbol is arrow downwards and value is minus 1 by 2. So this is spin quantum number. Once again, spin quantum number explains about the spinning of electrons. Spinning is nothing but rotation of the electrons in their own axis while they are revolving around the nucleus. When they are rotating in clockwise, the value is arrow, value is plus 1 by 2 and symbol is arrow upwards. While rotating in anti-clockwise, the value is minus 1 by 2 and symbol is arrow downwards. If any orbital in an orbital, if there are two electrons, we can indicate like this. One is clockwise and that is One thing I forgot to tell, in azimuthal quantum number, the maximum number of orbitals in an orbit is given by a formula n square. n square. So, n square will give you the number of orbitals present in the orbit. For example, if it is n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, now, Number of orbitals are 1 square, that is only 1. And when n is equal to 2, it is 2 square. 2 square means 4. Let me come again. Maximum number of orbitals in an orbit. Is n square. Now according to this, when n is 1, so the n square indicates 1. When n is 2, 2 square is 4. When n is 3, 3 square is 9. And when n is 4, 4 square is 16. So this 1 means it is s orbital. 4 means 1 s orbital and 3 d orbitals. 9 means 1 s orbital. 3 p orbitals and 5 d orbitals. 16 means 1 s orbital, 3 d orbitals, 5 d orbitals and 7 f orbitals. Like that. So friends, we have completed all the 4 quantum numbers and let us review the 4 quantum numbers the uses once again. First, spin quantum number. The uses are size of the orbit, energy of the orbit, and the energy of the electron. And maximum number of electrons in the orbit is given by the formula 2 n square. Ajimutal quantum number. It gives 
suborbits present in the orbits as sharp suborbit, deep principal suborbit, diffuse suborbit, fundamental suborbit. It also gives the orbitals present in the subshell. S orbital contains yes. S subshell contains S orbitals. P subshell contains P orbitals. D subshell contains D orbitals. F subshell contains F orbitals. And also the maximum number of orbitals present in the orbit with the formula n square. According to that, first orbit contains one orbital, second orbit contains four orbitals, third orbit contains nine orbitals, and the fourth orbit contains sixteen orbitals. That is the total quantum. Coming to magnetic quantum, it gives the orientations of the orbitals with a value two into here this one. According to that, S orbital will have one orientation, P orbitals have three orientations, D orbitals have five orientations, and F orbitals have seven orientations. And finally, you know that orbitals have electrons. Those electrons, according to spin quantum number, they spin in clockwise and anticlockwise direction. For clockwise, value is plus one by two, arrow upwards. For anticlockwise direction, value is minus one by two, and arrow downwards. So, with the quantum mechanics. We have come to know that in the atom there are orbits, in the orbits there are suborbits, in the suborbits there are orbitals, and in the orbitals there are the electrons spinning around the nucleus. As we first we said, the quantum mechanics will give us the position of the electron in the atom. Now, where is the position of the electron in the atom? It is in the orbital. Where is that orbital? In the suborbit. Where is the suborbit? In the orbit. Where is the orbit? Around the nucleus in the atom. So, with the quantum mechanics, we came to know the position of the electron 